Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are still talking about position measurement. Today we want to talk about capacitive position measurement. Last time we used a coil, we used, we used a spool to measure the position. This time we are using a capacitor. Let's reflect how a capacitor is working. So we have, basically we have two plates. Plain capacitor. We have two plates. Two connectors. That's a capacitor. All right. And this capacitor has two parameters, basically. Mechanical parameters. Here we have a distance of the plate. And we have an area of the plate. Okay. And of course there's a material in between also. This has also some influence. There is the rule, yeah. The capacitor is a right bigger. When A is bigger, the bigger the area is, yeah, the more load can be charged by this capacitor. Yeah, and D is smaller. The tinier the gap between those two plates is, the the uh, more capacity, the, the, the bigger the capacitor is, okay, the more farad we have. All right, so actually, if I change those parameters for whatever reason, however I design this, yeah, I can measure, I can measure the position. Yeah, so for instance, if I make a special designed plate like that. one plate yeah? and the other plate looks exactly the same but different <laughs> that's the other plate yeah? and one of those plates can move here then actually those things is changing yeah? So here we have, this is defining the area. Yeah? The distance will stay the same between the blades. But here, this area this, chair, this area will change. So the further I'm closing in, yeah, the bigger the active area is. And yeah, the, the, the more the capacity of this capacitor is rising. Okay, so this would be for linear movement. Simply make the plates like this and, and they will change the capacity. Okay, they are also turning capacitors. They look somehow like, phew, I hope I can manage to draw this now. Yeah. They look somehow like that. Yeah. That's one part, and the other part looking like that. So actually it's a stack of plates. It's a stack of plates, yeah? and here this segment 
those blades are overlapping. And if I turn one part of this blade, so I will move this, I can influence this area. Alright, so here this area, A, is changing. So I can also use this for angular measurement. And if I determine the, the, the capacity of my capacitor here, yeah, everything is fine. So that's also one mechanical possibility. If I do not measure quite away, but only small things, yeah, only small changes, I could use it something like that. Yeah? There's one blade, yeah? there's the other blade, and the other blade is moving like this. Yeah? In this case, change distance. So those are the two things I can change. The distance can be changed huh? or the area can be changed. And basically, basically the capacitor is working. It's always like that. Yeah. So how to mechanically design it? This is one possibility. Yeah. You could maybe use here a membrane, yeah? and if this membrane is, is moving, you could do a, a pressure measurement, for instance. Yeah? You have a membrane where the pressure is applied, and the, then the membrane is, is bent, yeah? and then you can measure the distance of the membrane, because one blade can be mounted to the membrane, and the other blade is fixed, and you can measure the distance of the membrane, and therefore measure the pressure, for instance. Yeah? Or another application is looking like this, like that. You have here one blade, you have here another blade, looking strange, right? Here another blade, and here is this one blade again. Yeah? So this here is one blade, and this here is the other blade. Alright, this is one. This is two. This is also two. Yeah. From the bottom, if you look from the bottom, it would look like that. Yeah. That you have one. Oops. And then you have this ring. A ring around this one. Does not look too good. However, you can think how this is looking here, yeah? and this is then inside some 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 material looking like a stamp or something like that. Huh? And what is this good for? Yeah, how can there is nothing moving? Well, this is for instance if you have here sheet metal. And you have some sort of, of coating. So there is some coating. And you want to measure the distance. Or the thickness of the coating, yeah? then you can use it like that. Because actually what is happening is that you have here a capacitor, and you have here a capacitor. Yeah? So actually this is acting as some coupling blade, yeah, the sheet metal. And the thicker, the thicker this coating is, yeah? the lower, yeah? also here, we have this D which is changing. All right? However, there is one more difficulty here, because this coating might consist of several different 
materials, you know, there are different sorts of coating, even on if it's just on your car. Yeah. So if you want to check how thick the coating is there, if there was an accident or something like this, yeah, you have to adjust the type of coating, yeah, because it's a difference if it's in a metallic or, or matte or whatever. Yeah. The, the, the type of coating has an influence also on the on the capacity yeah, because there's an epsilon r which is influencing this as well yeah. however then it's very accurate yeah. you can adjust this coating yeah, and then you can measure and then you have an output of one volt by 100 micrometers or something like that yeah. and yeah you can measure the, the coating thickness of your car yeah. But actually it's a position measurement because you measure the position of this sensor relative to the sheet metal. Yeah, capacitive position measurement. Yeah. One thing we have seen now quite some position measurement. I, there are more position measurements. Yeah. Remember this here? Yeah. this device this is ultrasonic you could also measure the distance I have talked about this when we talked about this ultrasonic switch I will not mention this explicitly so there are more position measurements however this is about measurement yeah? so we don't have to talk about position measurement there are other measurements for instance angle measurements now we have measured position angle measurement will be covered in the next video. What has to be done? Do not measure position, but to measure angles. Alright? Next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.